decision was made today regarding the crack in a concrete containment building at Davis Bessey. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Lee Conklin and I'm Diane Larson. An analysis was supposed to be released today to determine how to deal with the 30 foot long crack. 13 ABC's Christian Brown spent the day in the Oak Harbor, Port Clinton area, and she joins us live with the latest Christian. Well, Diane, a Davis Bessie spokesperson told me this morning that they were waiting on the outcome of an analysis to determine what steps need to be taken so they could figure out just how serious the situation is. Davis Bessie workers made the discovery on Monday while replacing the nuclear reactor head at the plant. They discovered a small vertical crack in the thick concrete outside the concrete containment building. It's all the buzz in nearby Port Clinton. My big thing is that they better be very careful, better watch it closely. I think there are too many uh, plants around this country like that anyhow. It seems like every other year you see something about the nuclear reactors in Toledo and it's like, it's safe, it's not safe, it is safe, but it's, so who do you believe? You know, it's like continuing saga. In February of last year, the plant was shut down for routine maintenance and safety inspections. During one of those inspections, First Energy found trouble with some of the reactor head's nozzles. In June, it was up and running again. Tonight, people who live near the plant say they feel safe for the most part. So long as it don't blow up and give me some radiation, so... As long as they do the job and make the thing work right and safe, I'm happy. Here, I'm 63. I've had a good life. I've got four grandkids, so you know, I, I don't know how feel, safe I feel for them. The newly discovered crack found Monday could prevent Davis Bessie from reopening on schedule. The plant was slated to reopen by the end of November. And a spokesperson for Davis Bessie tells 13 ABC they hope to have the findings of this week's analysis sometime next week. In the meantime, work will continue on the reactor head. Reporting live, Christian Brown, 13 ABC Action News. Here today, a crack in the outer containment building of the Davis Bessie nuclear reactor could keep that power plant shut down longer than expected. Workers in the process of replacing the plant's reactor had discovered that crack this week. WTO 11's Matt Wright has more on this developing story from Oak Harbor. The cracking was found in a concrete building that surrounds the nuclear reactor. You can see from this demo, it's made of about two and a half feet of concrete. Inside, there's rebar, and the cracking was found running along vertical rebar. The crack is as much as 30 feet long in the concrete outer shield building. The building is meant to protect the reactor from outside forces like a tornado or even an aircraft. Because safety is our top priority, we take all discoveries such as this very seriously. Workers using hydro demolition cut a hole in the shield building to make way for a new reactor head. Engineers then discovered the crack along the hole's edge. The crack indications appear to be in the concrete running vertically along this rebar uh, towards the outer layer of the building. First Energy says there's no safety threat. An inner steel vessel containing the reactor remains sealed, and the plant has been shut down for nearly two weeks. First Energy is replacing the current reactor head after cracks were found in fuel rod nozzles. We continue to move forward with the work to do so. Uh, and at this time, there's no impact on that schedule. The Nuclear Regulatory Commission is monitoring the situation. It sent a concrete expert to the plant to assist inspectors already on site. It plans to conduct an independent analysis of the crack. Those who live in the shadow of Davis Bessie say any problem can be alarming. I don't give it a whole lot of thought, but once in a while when you hear there's something wrong with it, it concerns you. They're on top of stuff and it's, you know, it's regulated, so that's a good thing. Davis Bessie is scheduled to be back online by mid-November, but that could be delayed. I hope they get it fixed in a hurry. <laughs> First Energy says it won't restart the plant until the crack is fixed. In Oak Harbor, Matt Wright, WTOL 11. <laughs>